Hello, hello, I'm Al Man Paul with Project Perch. We're at the Coral Springs Sportsplex checking out a family of owls. We had excavated this burrow with the uh, permission from the Florida Fish and Wildlife and we put in mitigation burrows. The owls have re-dug, so we're amending the permit so that we can remove the new burrow once the amendment is approved. Today they found new holes in a different part of the park. We're going to check those to see if they're actual owl burrows or possibly iguanas. But first, I wanted to verify the GPS coordinates of this burrow. Okay, usually there's three owls that are here, mom and dad, and then one of the juveniles haven't moved yet. I see two out right now. Hey guys. Hey guys. That's a close enough GPS coordinate without disturbing the owls. We'll leave them safe in their holes. All right, we look for prints in the sand. We don't have any owl prints. We also look for Signs of uh, prey. Sometimes we'll find partially eaten lizards or frogs, and that's not here. Or we'll see black dirt from the pipe dug out onto the beds of white sand. We don't have that, so I'm confident that these burrows have not been found or used by the owls anytime recently. So we have one more pair of mitigation burrows that we're going to check on, and we'll drive over there. And we're at the second pair of mitigation burrows. We're gonna to check to see if the owls have visited these two. Again, we look for footprints, owl prints. I don't see owl prints. I don't see any signs of prey occasionally. You may find owl pellets if they've been here and regurgitated the pellets. There's no sign of that. And there's no black dirt that's dug out onto the white sand. So the owls haven't visited this site. One over here, uh, pretty much the same. Owls have not visited here. We will clear some of this cutting. Leave open sand. It'll be easier to check for footprints next visit. May as well do the same thing on this one. Clear the little grass clippings. And it's not surprising that the owls haven't visited here. They re-dug on the soccer field. They're happy there. They had young there this past year. Owls have site fidelity, and they, that's why they re-dug. So they're not going to relocate here most likely until we excavate the burrows and remove them from the field again. And to do that, we're waiting on the amendment to our permit. <laughs> These are new burrows that were recently dug at the Coral Springs Sports Plex. They asked me to have a look to see if they were, in fact, owl burrows or possibly iguana burrows. There's two small burrows here This one is definitely too small for an owl. This guy here could be owl burrow, but it only goes this deep and then there's a, a rock. So it's not an actual burrow. 
And because of this being so small, it's highly unlikely that this is owl burrow. And it, even if it were an owl attempt, there's no owl footprints, there's no pellets, there's no prey, and it's only four inches deep. Um, this, this burrow is uh, not an owl burrow. So there's really no reason for the protection. It appears to be iguana. Iguana burrows are more crescent shaped. Owl burrows are rounder. Uh, this has a, the crescent. What we don't see, we don't see a tail drag mark. And that's because of the soil and the rain. A lot of times you'll see a line like this. If you see a line like that, you know 100% it's iguana because iguanas will drag their tail as they enter the burrow. Uh, but because of the darker soil and the rain, there are no uh, giveaway signs that it is an iguana burrow. So I'm very happy with the city of Coral Springs that they responded to this immediately. They gave us a call, they taped it off. Um, just in case it happened to be in Alburo, they didn't want to take any chances. Uh, they're, they're good about uh, doing the right thing here, taking care of their owls. So we always document our work. So this is a shot of the burrows. And we'll get a shot to show its position in relation to the field. And we'll get a shot of the depth and it's right at five inches. And we'll do a GPS. So that's the back wall right there. We're gonna smooth this out just so that no one will trip on it. There we go. And we may as well set the cones right on top. Perfect. So this is done. We'll let the city know. Another successful owl trip to Coral Springs Sportsplex.